for the tractor noise. Um, July 30th, 2020. I know I've done, I've said this, mentioned this before, but I'm going to keep mentioning it. Here's field I sprayed off, but the spraying off part, it was brown before. It's just this uh, skinny uh, horse nettle, uh, cool season grass is about all it is. I'm going to take the cully mulcher today. Oh, so I sprayed them, I mowed it and then sprayed it with glyphosate and then got the Yanmar and the cully mulcher that I, with the roller basket on the back. So um, I'm going to time this. I'll do a little of it going. Uh, this is the way to go, I think. Um, Rototiller has its purposes too, but this is twice as fast and it's going to get the seed bed. These seeds, I'm planting cereal rye, brassica mix, you know, the fall, normal fall blend that mo most people plant. So the brassicas will have rape, which is a forage, uh, no bulb or nothing. It's got some turnips in it. I don't like my turnips to get baseball size or smaller, just because the deer can handle them better. Uh, and then I got cereal rye. And all the, you know, most of that stuff can, they don't need to be very far underneath the ground. Um, so keep that in mind when doing it. Um, it can't look like this, but I'll show you here in a sec uh, what it can look like. Okay, I forgot also I added Morgan's compost, Dairy Dew custom blend to this these plots here as well so this I'll also be working in the fertilizer while working up the field getting it getting the soil ready to plant little deep I can adjust it with the roller but it's working good I can darn near plant after just that right there. It'll build up a little, bound up a little bit. So you gotta be aware of that. So we just scrape her off here. And then we keep going. So, pros and cons of this cully mulcher. That's what the field looks like. It's rough. Um, you can go faster. Um, but it's pretty rough in the tractor. I think it does, I think it works up the ground a little bit better than, especially with that matted vegetation. It clumps up with that and it, it makes it rough. Um, the rotor tiller is going to be a lot slower. Time wise, they're. The, on this location about the same um, took about an hour I went over it two or three times it's uh, with that um, the rototiller probably would have took an hour or two but I think on the flip side of that that this is probably a little bit better ground worked up ready to plant so um, but it's it's a uh, Hopefully that dead vegetation turns into, you know, green manure and decomp, you know, de compost, if you will. And uh, I'm gonna go on to the next one. I got another two acres, two and a half acres to do. So uh, it's taken about twice as long as it normally took in the spring. August fifth. 2020 corn update getting in the fall food plots for this client and here's what the corn looks like I am 510 on a good day and it's got ears tasseling right now it's in great shape the leaves look in great shape. 
Um, so what I'm doing today, I haven't done nothing since, uh, well, if you fought along all summer, you know what I've done here. But this, I'm, this is a shooting lane I cut a couple weeks ago. The blind, well, follow me here. The blind is behind me there. This is just a shooting lane I kind of cut in here. We're probably going to cut some more in here. I just don't know where yet, where the client wants it yet. But I'm going to plant this one. Next year may do what I just did if this works. I just didn't want to do too much because this corn is going to be highly attractive come November 15th gun season. So just working this up, getting this planted, and uh, yeah, we'll keep updating this.